Ever wondered about the unique traits of Samoyeds? Unraveling their story takes us back to their origins, deeply embedded in the snowy landscapes of Siberia. Here they were the trusty companions of the Samoyedic people, serving as diligent reindeer herders. Their resilience and strength made them the breed of choice for some of the most challenging expeditions to the North and South Poles. But their lineage is even more fascinating. Samoyeds share a close relationship with an ancient hybrid of a dog and wolf, a testament to their robust nature and survival instincts. This connection to their wild ancestors gives them a distinct disposition, setting them apart from other dog breeds. Their journey from the harsh cold of Siberia to the warm homes of dog lovers around the world is a tale of adaptation, survival, and unwavering loyalty. So, the next time you see a Samoyed, remember, you're looking at a piece of ancient history. Now, have you noticed the famous Sammy smile? A charming characteristic of the Samoyed breed, this physical trait is not just for show. The upturned corners of their mouths, known as the Sammy smile, play a vital role in preventing drooling, especially in cold temperatures. This trait was crucial for the breed's survival in the icy regions of their origin. Now, let's talk about their fur. Despite their heavy shedding, Samoyeds are somewhat hypoallergenic. This is due to their unique nature of producing less dander. Dander, for those who might not know, is a common allergen produced by most pets. It's the tiny particles of skin that animals shed along with their fur. The fact that Samoyeds produce less of it is a boon for those who love dogs but are allergic to them. So these distinctive features, the Sammy smile that prevents drooling in cold temperatures and their hypoallergenic fur despite heavy shedding, set Samoyeds apart from other breeds. Their distinctive smile and hypoallergenic fur make Samoyeds a truly unique breed. Did you know that Samoyeds do not have a typical dog odor? Yes, it's true. These fluffy friends are known for their lack of the usual doggy smell. But don't let that fool you into thinking they're low maintenance. Just like any other breed, Samoyeds require regular grooming to keep their beautiful white coats clean and healthy. Their double-layered fur is thick and insulating, perfect for the icy environments they were bred for. But this also means they shed a lot, especially during the change of seasons. Brushing them several times a week is a must to manage the shedding and prevent matting. And while they may not have the typical dog scent, they can still get dirty. Regular baths, at least once every two months or so, will keep their fur bright and shiny. Don't forget about their teeth, ears and nails either. These also require regular care to keep your Samoyed healthy and happy. Although they don't smell like your typical dog, grooming is still an essential part of their care. Ever wonder why they're called Samoyeds? Well, let's journey back in time for a moment. This breed's original name was not Samoyed, but rather Bielkia. It's a name that rang through the icy landscapes of the North and South Poles, a testament to their origins and their primary role as reindeer herders. But why the change from Bielkia to Samoyed, you may ask? The change was a tribute to the Samoyedic people, the northernmost indigenous people of Russia. These folks were the first to recognize the value of these magnificent dogs, utilizing their strength and resilience not only for herding reindeer, but also for expeditions in the harshest of climates. Samoyeds were companions, workers, and lifesavers for the Samoyedic people. Their bond was so strong that the breed was eventually renamed after them. It's a nod of respect, a nod to their history, and a nod to their vital role in the survival of the Samoyedic people. The name Samoyed is a tribute to the people who first recognized the value of these magnificent dogs. Did you know that Samoyeds have a royal following? Yes, indeed. The charm of these fluffy majestic dogs won the heart of none other than Queen Alexandra of the United Kingdom. A devoted fan of these Arctic canines, she wasn't just satisfied with having a Samoyed as a pet. Oh no, Queen Alexandra took her love for these dogs a step further. She decided to breed Samoyeds, ensuring the continuation of this remarkable breed. Her royal patronage not only helped in preserving the Samoyed breed but also significantly contributed to their popularity. Can you imagine? These dogs, which were once herding reindeers in the icy landscapes of Siberia, found themselves in the royal courts of England, hobnobbing with the aristocracy. Queen Alexandra's enthusiasm for Samoyeds was so infectious that it spread across the royal family. Her son, King George V and his wife Queen Mary, were also known to have a fondness for these dogs. So next time you see a Samoyed, remember that you're looking at a breed that has been adored by royalty. It's safe to say Samoyeds have always been fit for royalty. 
Can you guess the original job of Samoyeds? If you thought herding, you're spot on. This breed was not always the beloved family pet we know today. Their history is rooted in the icy terrains of Siberia, where they were used as reindeer herders by the Samoyedic people. Navigating through harsh weather conditions, these dogs proved their mettle, showcasing their strength and agility in herding and protecting reindeer. But what about today? Do these fluffy companions still carry their herding instincts? Absolutely! Even though the modern Samoyed might not be herding reindeer in the Arctic, their instinctual drive to herd remains intact. You might notice it when they try to gather their toys, or when they're around other animals. It's a fascinating glimpse into their past, a testament to their versatility and resilience. Each time a Samoyed rounds up a stray ball or corrals a group of squirrels in your backyard, it's a nod to their ancestry, a reminder of their roots. Even today you might catch a glimpse of their herding instincts in action. Have you heard about the heroic Samoyed named Aika? In 2021, Aika became a symbol of the Samoyed breed's remarkable endurance and survival instincts. This brave dog found herself stranded on a sheet of sea ice in the vast, freezing expanse of the Arctic. It's a harsh environment, and for any creature being marooned there could spell disaster. But Aika was no ordinary creature. She was a Samoyed, a breed known for its history of braving the cold, bitter wilderness. Aika's ancestors were the chosen companions for expeditions to the North and South Poles, and her genetic legacy shone brightly in her hour of need. Her rescue was not a simple task. It required careful planning, determination, and a little bit of luck. But eventually, Aika was safely retrieved from her icy isolation. Her story resonated around the world, serving as a powerful reminder of the resilience inherent in her breed. Aika's survival was more than just a testament to her own spirit. It was a testament to the Samoyed's resilience and survival instincts. Did you know that Samoyed fur was once considered valuable? Yes, it's true. The Samoyed breed, known for its fluffy white coat, is also known for shedding, and plenty of it. But this wasn't seen as a nuisance by the Samoyedic people, the breed's namesake. Quite the opposite, in fact. They considered the constant shedding of Samoyed fur as a valuable resource. This is because Samoyed fur is incredibly warm and durable, perfect for the frigid Arctic temperatures where the Samoyedic people resided. They would collect the shed fur and weave it into clothing and blankets, ensuring they stayed warm during the harsh winter months. So, while you might grumble when you find your favorite black trousers covered in white fur, try and remember the value this fur once held. Who knows? Perhaps you could even try your hand at spinning it into yarn, just like the Samoyedic people did. So, if you ever find yourself with a pile of Samoyed fur, remember it was once seen as a valuable resource. Let's revisit the fascinating insights we've learned about Samoyeds. These unique canines were once reindeer herders, and their hardiness made them the preferred breed for polar expeditions. Their lineage traces back to an ancient hybrid of a dog and wolf, making them a living link to the past. Their physical traits, like the Sami smile, are not just endearing but also practical preventing drooling in cold temperatures. Despite being heavy shedders, Samoyeds are somewhat hypoallergenic due to their low dander production. They might not have a typical dog odor, but grooming is still a must. The breed was initially known as Bielkir, but was later renamed Samoyed after the Samoyedic people. They even held royal favor, with Queen Alexandra of the United Kingdom being a devoted fan and breeder. Their herding instincts are still very much alive today, and they've even been involved in daring Arctic rescues. The Samoyedic people found value in their constant shedding, using the fur in various ways. From their ancient origins to their unique physical traits and their royal connection, Samoyeds are truly a remarkable breed. It's been a pleasure uncovering these facts about Samoyeds with you. These snow-white companions with their unique traits and rich history are truly a breed apart. From their ancient roots to their royal connections and their inimitable Sami smile, Every facet of their existence is fascinating. If you've been enchanted by the story of Samoyeds, you're not alone. These dogs, once the trusted partners of polar expeditions, are now beloved members of families all over the world. They continue to surprise us with their resilience, like Aika, the brave Samoyed rescued from sea ice in the Arctic. If you know someone who's as smitten with Samoyeds as we are, do share this video with them. It's a small way we can spread the love for this incredible breed. And who knows, it might inspire someone to open their home to a Samoyed. Here's to celebrating the remarkable breed that is the Samoyed. Until next time.